So what is a Reagan Democrat? Maybe John Edwards should become a conservative, maybe pair up with Al Gore. That would be a great ticket. I want to know why Ann Coulter continuously has a problem with John Edwards. What is it about him that she just has a problem with? Because I want to know if there are some things that I should know before I sit there and say, yeah, I support John Edwards. I support John Edwards because I don't support Barack Obama. I don't support Ms. Clinton. I like Barack Obama as a candidate, and that's about it. Um, I don't really like Mrs. Clinton because I don't, number one, I don't want a woman president. I don't think a woman can handle the job. Number two, she didn't read the fucking paperwork before putting her signature there. It means she had other people behind her influencing her. And I'm not ready for, um, you know, that. That's the reasons why I don't want those two, and I support Edwards because, but if he's anything like Kerry, then I'm not going to support him. And if he has any, like, friends and that kind of shit from those guys, I want some grassroots candidacy that's going to make us strong. I want the military to be strong. I want our people to be taken care of in a rational, fair way because we're getting to the point where everyone's just kind of disrespecting one another and our values and our, what we've been learning in our books. So in my book, Save the Union and Our Democracy, we talk about we might as well, you know, just rewrite our new history, but, but what I meant was we need to investigate some of the wars, reasons why they started and ended, not to disregard peace treaties that we have from the war number, number two, especially that war, where I think there's other countries that are totally harboring terrorists, and they're the countries that they're not telling us um, on TV. It's always the same ones in the Middle East, but what I'm noticing from my research is we have a big fucking problem because the lack of understanding, the lack of information given on some of the facts, what led up to and what's after. Because everybody was like a Cold War and a CIA war and presidents getting fucking this, the Vietnam and bad shit. And either we're going to be the, the products of that anger and try to be democratic about it or you guys are trying to do the same thing all over again and that's where we need to say hey what do we really stand for what is what we're sitting here going overseas and trying to say hey you guys let's come with us our next day.